This is the last in the video series of the New England, the Middle Colony, and the Southern Colony videos for History Alive and uh, Geggy fifth graders. And so we're going to be reading today about the Southern Colonies. We're going to be uh, taking a look at Maryland and at Georgia. So let's just go ahead and get ourselves started. Cecilius Calvert started the southern colony of Maryland in 1634 for two reasons. First, Calvert hoped to make money. Second, he wanted to provide a safe place for Catholics to practice their religion. In England and in some colonies, Catholics, like Calvert, were harshly treated by non-Catholics and the British government. Maryland's geography and climate were perfectly suited for growing and selling tobacco. The tobacco plants grew well in the hot, steamy summers. Chesapeake Bay split the colony in half and provided a route to the sea. Tobacco farmers near the bay could easily ship their crops to Britain and other places. Unfortunately, the climate also encouraged mosquitoes that spread disease. There were many job opportunities in Maryland. Most colonists uh, there worked small farms. They grew tobacco, corn, wheat, and fruit trees. Other colonists were involved in lumbering, shipping, fishing, and raising cattle for beef and milk. Some bought and sold slaves. Families who grew tobacco on large plantations became rich. However, most of the work on plantations was done by African slaves and indentured servants. Participation in Maryland's government was limited. At first, Calvert himself was in charge of Maryland's government. In 1638, Calvert permitted the colony to have an assembly. Generally, white men with property could vote for members of the assembly. As more non-Catholics moved to the colony, Calvert convinced the assembly to pass a law that protected Catholics' rights to vote and serve in the government. Now it's time for you to stop and take a closer look for the notes at uh, Maryland Southern Colony. <clears throat> the next section we're going to take a look at is 7.8, Georgia, the Southern Colony. The Southern Colony of Georgia was started in 1732 for two main reasons. First, the British government wanted to keep the Spanish from moving north. The Spanish were already in Florida to the south. Second, some wealthy Englishmen wanted to help poor people escape debtors' prison. Debtors are people who owe money or debts. At that time, debtors in England went to jail if they could not pay their bills. A colony in America could provide opportunities for poor people to support themselves. The climate and geography of Georgia were ideal for growing certain crops. Winters were mild, summers were hot and humid. The southern part of the colony had swampland or low wet areas. Swampland was good for growing rice and indigo, a plant used to make blue dye coloring. In the north, forests provided lumber for homes. After trees were cut down, the cleared fields were suitable for farming. Farming was the most important job in Georgia, but there were other occupations. Besides rice and indigo, farmers grew cotton and tobacco. Other colonists traded goods with Native Americans. Still, others were craftsmen, such as shoemakers, bricklayers, blacksmiths, and potters. At first, the colony did not permit slavery, but later, it was allowed and used widely. When Georgia began, only the rich men who had started the colony ran the government. They passed laws 
that they thought were best for the colony. In 1752, however, these men turned control of the colony over to the British king. The king allowed white men to elect an assembly. However, the king could stop any law the assembly passed. That was the section on Georgia, the Southern Colony. Now it's time for you to complete your notes.